The scope was really a five-year project, uh, three of it in planning, two of it in construction. It enhances our ability to serve our community better, and that's why we're here. We're a community hospital. We want to make sure that we're here when people need us, and um, in the addition to 30,000 square feet allow us to do that better for our surgical patients and our emergency department patients. There's enough anxiety when you come into the hospital, whether it's the emergency department or the outpatient surgery area, and we want to try to reduce that in any way we can. So if you're coming into the operating suite, for example, and you see a message on the wall that relaxes you for just a fraction of a second before the procedure begins, that's a good thing. It results in better clinical outcomes. Uh, we know the patients get better faster if their anxiety level is reduced. So a lot of what you see was very intentional to try to create a soothing environment. We use best practices from our architectural firm nationwide. So from a patient safety perspective, what can we do to make sure that when a patient comes in, they have the best chance for a good outcome? And there are certainly architectural elements that contribute towards that. The other, as you mentioned, Emily, then was privacy. So the uh, making sure that when you come in, we, we respect that privacy as much as we can. You see the fewest number of people possible. We eliminate trips through hallways, um, for example, with outpatient surgery. In the past, they came into the first floor, they went up to third floor, they came back to first floor, they went back to third floor after their surgical procedure. Now you come in one door and you leave out of that same door. So that's huge from the patient and their family. Sunday's tour is going to start here in the, in the ambulance bay, move through the emergency department. We'll see a little bit about um, the patient care there. The half the emergency room will be open, but we'll be able to peek in a few of the new rooms. And then move upstairs to see our history wall that walks through KSB's entire history from 1897 to uh, the modern day. Some of the physicians through the years, some of our community ties through the years. Uh, then they'll move into the registration area on the second floor, uh, outpatient surgery, look in some of the, uh, the recovery rooms there, see the surgical suites, our brand new surgical suites, uh, and then move down to the cafeteria for refreshments, giveaways, and uh, they can have questions with other directors.